let's talk about um you know this bear run that we're seeing it's it's amazing what we've seen over the last two weeks gain new momentum the, uh, let's from your perspective what are the real factors at play that is increasing the momentum of the of of the bear run you've actually been quite concerned about that as well and we've been speaking with our investors about it and also chatting with our sales team both locally and in the international market and what we've been able to gather is that there's still that concern around the banking sector in the sense that i think investors want more clarity one on amcon they want to see more action around that they want to actually see the company start operations and amcon start taking up assets from the distressed banks because since the banking reform started we anticipated that that would would come into play much earlier in the year, but it still hasn't come in now. We expected that the AMCOM would be in play by the end of this month latest. And the way things are going, we're not sure when that would come about. And it appears as if the political scene right now, there's a lot of attention drawn away from the, banking, from the market as a concerns. whole, and even from the market sector. And politicians are more concerned about re-election re and getting themselves back into office. So I think investors are concerned around that. And what we've really seen in the market, at least from flows from our investors, is that there's a shift, not necessarily a shift out of the market per se, but a shift from the banking sector into yeah. other sectors. So they're not necessarily taking the cash out of the market, but more or less going out of the banking sector and moving into consumers and into cement. Because if you look at the the prices, gain, gainers and losers, you notice that the consumers are still quite strong, cement are still strong yeah. as well, while banking sector are still, there's still been that decline in the banking sector. Right, all that said, but um, I, for me, there's the new factor at play, obviously, is this um, new banking model that uh, the central bank is promoting, um, doing away with the universal banking system, which everyone has been used to for the last 10 years, and introducing new capital requirements and segment, um, segmenting the market in general. In my view, I think um, there could be some selling pressure that might result out of this, because some banks who would not want to embrace the whole the whole core structure might be forced to of course divest from non-banking um, business and possibly even from proprietary investments from the stock market what are your thoughts on that yeah we've what actually thought of the impact of that and we've analyzed the earnings of banks based on the different structures we've looked at the commercial banking side contribution from commercial banking from investment banking which would be the merchant banking business and also the other subsidiaries as well and from the banks within our coverage we observe that all the banks commercial banking controls contributes over 80 percent to their gross earnings while for a few like fcnb and possibly fidelity as well investment banking contributes about 17 percent and also with most banks the structure is that for the investment banking side there's also a combination of corporate banking as well and treasury business which can still be part of the commercial banking so to a large extent if banks decide to divest from the investment banking and only hold on to their commercial banking business their revenues will still be strong because over 80 percent of their earnings is from commercial banking business and so we won't really see any depletion in value per se and I don't think it will have a major impact on valuations mm -hmm. as well. But um, very quickly, do you think there will be any winners from this process? Uh, in my view, I think the whole sector will be a winner from the process in the sense that it would obviously improve specialization, it would make the sector more dynamic because I think the universal banking model encouraged banks to all go after skill and more or less have the same structure but with this you'd have commercial banks split into three region three sectors and also having the merchant banks as well and so i think it would bring some color into the market and also help with with these with more banks in it there would obviously be more competition which would increase shareholder value as well because there would be better services and as a whole that's why i feel the sector would be would be the major winner for it okay. and I think what's what's also important is the fact that we would need our regulators to also be quite firm on the oversight duties because I think at the end of the day that's what would make the new model work.